Hello, and welcome to the Blender Agenda's first Blender tutorial. Episode 1 is on creating fluids. First of all, what you're going to want to do is open up Blender. Then once you get onto the interface, hold the wheel down to scroll around and pick from a user-friendly camera. Then when you find one you want, hit S so you can scale up your cube. When you've got it big enough so that you want it, just zoom out so it seems easier to use. Then hit Z to go into wireframe mode. This will just make the interface a whole lot friendlier and easier to use. Hit space, then go on to add, then mesh, then icosphere. From that, you're going to want it to go onto subdivision 4, then OK. This is your blob of water you're going to be dropping today. Hit G to move this up. You want to keep it inside the cube and center it up. So hit S to make it bigger and G to center it. Then, right finger click back onto the cube. From that, you're going to want to go down to the axes. Then, onto the second sub-tab with a picture of a bouncing ball. Then from that, all the way on the right, you'll see fluid. Then from that, you want to go onto domain. This is all you need to do for now. And then you need to click, right finger click, back onto the ball of water. Then onto fluid, and then on fluid again. And then you're going to want to go on both. This means there'll be even more water and it'll be a lot better resolution. Now right finger click back onto the cube and go on bake. This is then going to get it all set up so when it plays it, it'll play nice and clear. And it means there's no lagging so it plays really fast. There we go. Once it's done, right finger click on the leftover sphere. First of all, come out of wireframe mode by hitting Z again, and then right finger click on it, hit delete, and go into arrays. Now you've just got your cool water. Now, at any time by hitting Alt A, you can just watch your animation. This may look kind of crappy, but I've got it on low resolution for now just to show you. You can turn up the resolution later. Then, once you're happy with your animation, you want to render it so you can watch it anytime. Go up onto the top, onto render, and render animation. I'm not going to do it for now to save time. But then after you've done it, you can play back your rendered animation as much as you want. And show other people. Thank you for watching. And please, subscribe.